another brutal week in Gotham, folks. A string of home invasions rippled through the city's already crime-infested East End. Apparently, the bandits are using stolen GCPD battery rams to force their way in, with breaking and entering incidents up 40% over last year. Remember to keep those front doors locked tonight. And we have breaking news tonight. Five criminals are in custody this evening after a break-in at City Hall. But thanks to the efforts of the Batman, the stolen items were returned. But the Not all of them. Let's see what she was really after. Allegations that Dent may have actually been involved in the break-in. Talk about dirty politics. Does Hill's campaign really think these accusations hold any water with the voters? Or will it be perceived as a desperate attempt from a flailing campaign to take down one of Gotham's most promising young politicians? should be able to read whatever data is on that stolen drive. And in other news, we are now on day three of the factory fire that will not end. Crews have given up trying to combat the blaze at the Otisburg Processing Center, owned by Ace Chemical. Nearly fell off a building for this? was found hanging off the side of the 4th Street Bridge sometime just before dawn, causing traffic to back up for miles as the cops cut him down. Random stabbings are the latest headache for the riders of Gotham's overcrowded Skyrail cars to contend with. Gotham police are investigating multiple cases of riders receiving abdominal wounds from an ice pick or other pointed weapon while pressed into the tight quarters with fellow passengers. A few have died, while most have been admitted to Gotham General in critical condition. The police don't have any suspects at the time. Two more patients have gone missing from Arkham Asylum, bringing the total number of escapees from the half-prison, half-mental hospital to 15 this year. Only three have been caught to date, but all the escapees highlight the rough some would say inhumane conditions at the aging asylum. The latest, 44-year-old twin brother and sister, Leon and Valerie Muldoon, should be considered dangerous if found. Authorities are asking that you do not approach and call police immediately. Mayor Hill's Gotham Beautiful Act takes effect today, making it possible for landlords to evict tenants immediately and without cause. The new law, was created in order to allow Gotham City's biggest property owners greater ability to modify and improve the city's aging buildings, some of which have been occupied by families for decades. So if you come home from work tonight and find all your stuff on the street, don't worry, it probably isn't anything you did wrong. And if you can believe it, now you can't even Holographic lenses, voice modulation. Wayne Enterprises really outdid themselves with this version. But it starts with you. Vote for Harvey Dent and elect a real crime fighter to Gotham's mayoral seat. I'm Harvey Dent. Find out what was so important. Any water with the voters? Or will it be perceived? Encrypted. 
Wayne Manor has seven bedrooms, two kitchens, a library, a gymnasium, a basketball court, and a movie theatre. And yet I always find you here, in a dark, damp cave. I'm more at home here than the rest of the house, you know that. Then we should build an eighth bedroom down here. Sure, I can see the headlines now. Bruce Wayne, billionaire, entrepreneur, cave dweller. Quite an eclectic resume. Did you find out what that, um, cat woman tried to steal? Well, in the process. What are we looking at? Let me try a different angle. This is a map of the east side shoreline. But it could mean any number of things. Money, weapons, drugs, everything flows through that port. Maybe it's where Mayor Hill picks up his dry cleaning. Hmm. Can't make sense of it yet. There's still plenty of files to decrypt. And in the meantime... I saved you what I could. Think so. Yeah, the same couldn't be said for the bar. I had to literally pry Mrs. Zeller back away. But you'll be pleased to hear everyone has left, including Mr. Falcone. Before the game switched from billiards to cutthroat. I'd recommend leaving the fist fights to your alter ego. Bloodstains are much harder to remove from a tuxedo. I had everything under control. That's true. I've seen you take down worse thugs. But I'd already sewn you up once tonight, and I had no interest in a repeat performance. For the record, your father despised men like Falcone, thought they ruined Gotham's stellar reputation. Back when it still had one? It can again, Bruce. Though people like this Catwoman aren't helping. Is she new to town? I've never seen her before. Hopefully, she's just a tourist. No, I already checked the codex. Not much to find, apparently. A few burglaries, break-ins... Seems to lay pretty low. You could learn a thing or two from her. You can't step outside without it ending up in the news lately. As Bruce or Batman. I don't like being compared to a calm criminal. No, I think you're missing the point. You have to admit you've been drawing a lot of attention to yourself and not the playboy billionaire buys new yacht kind of attention. I don't mean to beat a dead argument, but... No one's gonna figure it out now, trust me. Miss Vale noticed your injuries, so did Mr. Dent. If they put it together with the incident at the mayor's office, it would undo all the long nights and close calls we've endured to get here. You're in the spotlight more than ever. You have to be careful. I've had to cover from mysterious injuries before. You've been lucky. Or I'm just a really good liar. A necessary evil in your line of work, I suppose. Though I hope you change careers someday. Ah, old men worry, that's all. It's our gift and our curse. A for the list. I thought I saw Oz. It's been, what, 20 years? Last time I saw him, we were in grade school. Indeed. You two were thick as thieves. Oswald, however, took that role more literally than you. Dishonorable discharge, illegal boxing matches, arms dealing, prison stents? That's a criminal grand slam, if I'm using the expression correctly. Unfortunately, you are. Oswald claimed he only wanted to catch up, but his behavior following his family's collapse is troubling. Why he's returning now, I... I think he just wants to reconnect. Criminal record or not, he's still an old friend. A lot can change over the years. 
If I remember correctly, Oswald was fond of the old firecrackers in the toilet trick. I worry what he's graduated to. Even though you and young Master Cobblepot used to be close, I'd advise you to be cautious. But I know you can't abandon a good mystery until it's solved. I'll be careful, Alfred. When you see what's become of his park, I think you will. statue, but no eyes. isn't what it used to be. Watch Wallet Cash. But this goes through you. Hey, you heard him, man. What the hell are you waiting for? Go ahead. Try and take it. The hell do you say? End him! Gentlemen! Oz. Keep walking, all right? This don't concern you, twerp! You see, that's where you're mistaken. My old mate and I have some catching up to do. And you're oh. really in the moment! Come here! Oh. Think that'll do? This used to be a nice place. No lives like you don't belong. This is my park. Mine. You hear that? Oh, hey, Bruce. You've got a little, uh... Eh, yeah, good as new. Woo, that was the right little scrap, eh? Nothing kickstarts the system like a dash of adrenaline, eh? Besides, someone needed to deal with the rubber situation here. Well, thanks for the backup. I yanked you away from your bloody ivory tower, Bruce. Least I can do is make sure you don't get shanked. Oh, that's very thoughtful of you. It's been, what, two decades? 
And you know what? I haven't been mugged once that entire time. <laughs> uh, yeah, that wasn't why I brought you here, mate. Right now, I am trying to recognize the little Bruce I used to run around this place with. Back when it wasn't, you know, like this. This park used to mean something. A place that was safe for kids, for families. People came from all over to visit. Oh, Mom and Dad, they put so much work in here. Well, those were better days. That they were. Both of us. <sighs> this city chews right through people. <sighs> Mum committed to Arkham. Dad ended it yourself, he did. My family's fortune. There's nothing left, Bruce. I know. Alfred told me. It's funny, huh? Same place that ground my family to dust. Gave you the good life. Used to run in the same circles we did. Hobnobbing parties, round-the-world vacations, unlimited potential. Now all I got is this park. I'm... I'm sorry, Oz. No one should have to go through that. Thanks, Bruce. But we are not the only ones suffering. Good to know you haven't changed, Bruce. You still care about something more than just yourself. Although, I was surprised to see Carmine Falcone at your party last night. Made himself right at home! That oily... Oh. Wish I could have punched that grin into the back of his throat. Let him choke on it. It's... politics, Oz. That's how the game is played. I thought you had more integrity than that. Falcone made a stack of cash and corpses a mile high, ruining families like mine. All he needs is a little push. And... It'd be a treat to watch him at pavement. Sorry, mate. This reunion got a lot more grim than I planned. Things are gonna be on the upswing soon, no? A revolution is knocking on Gotham's door. And I'm here to let it in. Which brings me to you, Bruce. You see, you throw a rock in any direction, you break a window that Wayne Enterprises owns. As the rich and powerful go, oh, you top Gotham's list. My revolution starts. We're gonna smash windows and cross off names all the way down. Like I said, it's not gonna be pretty. It's gonna be beautiful. And I can't wait to get started. That's a battle you won't win, Oz. No. Oh, I've learned a thing or three since we were kids. I've got great affection for you, Bruce. I really do. Which is why I'm warning you. When this whole thing starts, Make sure you're on the right side. Good seeing you, Bruce, but I got some rocks to collect. Cheers. <laughs> 